Well, good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me today. And I am so glad that you are here. Well, listen, you know, we have started a new trend on earth. And that is, it's just, we're all the way out now. You know, we're, we're not hiding anymore. We're okay with who we are. We accept everything that God has created on the inside and outside of us, and we're going to give him something to work with. And a part of giving him something to work with is you understanding this one thing, that God know who, who, who he created when he created you. And now you're discovering more and more of that now. And I want you to know that what someone else in your past took for granted Somebody is praying for that. Ho oh, ho! Come on. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. I try to put my Bible up. Oh, and it just hit me. 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 All of the good things, all of the commitments, the love, the compassion, the loyalty, the support, your attention, all of that that somebody that was unequally yoked with you, that you tried to pray into your experience. I want you to understand that there is a man and a woman praying for all of that. See, the enemy tries to make us feel that what we gave was just, you know, a waste. But I want you to understand that even when you give to the wrong people, that's still a seed that you're sowing into a spiritual realm of life. Come on, somebody. And I want you to know that God does not ignore what you do out of the kindness of your heart. See, it may seem like to man that it was taken for granted. It may seem like to the naked eye that it did not matter. It may even seem like to you that it was a waste of time, baby. I want you to understand that anything that you do through the goodness, through the richness, through the power, through the love and the devotion within your heart, even if it went to the wrong person, baby, God still allows that seed to be planted in the spiritual field of your manifestations, baby. And it's only a matter of time before it shows up. I want you to understand that that thing that they took for granted, baby, your partner that is equally spiritually yoked with you, they praying for that. They're praying for everything that someone else took for granted that you did. They're praying for that smile. They're praying for somebody who can keep a clean house. They're praying for somebody that can be a provider. They're praying for somebody that just can be loyal. They're praying for somebody that can be a ride or die. They're praying for somebody just to have a clean, pure heart. I want you to understand that the devil is shown up a liar, uh-huh, and the truth ain't nowhere up in him, okay? And I want you to realize that I know sometimes it hurts, okay, when we're rejected and when people take us for granted and when people don't appreciate us. It hurts us when people talk about us and sometimes when they plot against us and they do all of these evil things against us. But the word of God tells me that blessed are the pure in heart, uh-huh, because they're always going to see God. So if you're planting seeds, honey, and that person couldn't receive that seed, honey, that seed still went into the spiritual field. I want you to understand that. That seed still went into the spiritual field and it has hooked. It has began to grow. It has began to bind you together. It has began to pull in the person in your experience that is deserving of it, that will appreciate it, that will honor it, and that is right now actively fasting and praying for it. Because baby, another man's supposedly waste is somebody else's treasure. Because what you gave was not in vain. You just sowed a seed. And I'm telling you right now that what they took for granted Somebody is praying for that. And it's only a matter of divine timing before they show up. Believe that. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I believe in you. Bye now.